this is how I resolved the issue of my batteries running low in my truck. Whenever the uh, battery would run low, I couldn't start the truck, so I'd have to put it on a charger. So what I did was I went ahead and set this up as an artificial solar panel charger, and I used a an old laptop charger that I had laying around, and I took an old charge controller that I had laying around. I just happened to set it up with, with this little um, meter to show you. But this is a good way to keep your battery from going dead if you're going to let it sit for several weeks. And this is an easy way to do it. What I did was I connected to the battery. I connected this wire to the battery. What I did was I had an old inverter and it had one of those plugs that plug into the lighter. Well, I would never use that because it's a limited to 120, 175 watts. So what I did was I cut those off, remembering that the positive is this wire that has writing on it. And I put the positive right in there for that one and the negative on the right side, which is battery. So I got those connected. And I got my wires for my laptop, and the laptop charger, when you strip that wire, the white one, the one that's on the inside, is your positive. And then the negative will just be a bunch of wires, uh, like, wrapped around it, so you'll have to uh, make a little wrap of them. So that that's how you'll know the negative is not that white one. And then you can just take it in, put it in your truck when you want, and take it out when you want. You're just going to plug it right into the lighter. And I put a timer on the... It's outside, out there in my battery box but the timer is attached to this thing so it's kind of like an artificial solar panel it runs for about 10 hours a day it's just one of those real cheap little four dollar timers that you can set for an on and off time anyhow just so you'd know if you want to keep your batteries charged or if you, sometimes I have the same problem with the RV the uh, chassis battery also does the same problem because even when you're plugged in to that to the power the house charges, the house portion of the RV charges, but the chassis portion does not. So you have to set one of these up. I also have one of those on my RV, so these are simple to set up and relatively cheap. Uh, of course, they sell all this stuff. So if you're interested in buying one that's already pre-set up and everything, then you can uh, look it up on eBay or whatever. This is just stuff that I had laying around, so it didn't cost me anything extra, and this is how I did it. But you can buy it and build it right in. I mean, I've seen them. They've got very nice ones that are uh, installed professionally. This is just a fly-by-night deal. But I can put this in and out just simply by plugging it into the lighter. So, just in case you're interested in something like that, you can use just about any charge controller. I'm using an MPPT charge controller because it's much more powerful. I had tried a um, another charge controller that I had. It also says that it's MPPT, but when you would just open the door in the truck, the lights would pull so much power that, you're, that the voltage would drop dramatically. So when I set this thing up and did the same thing, the voltage didn't drop, which told me this thing is much more powerful, and the power that it's providing is quite a bit more than the cheap charge controller. Good talking to you guys.